our faith is not a question of I think. No, no. It's a question of Jesus Christ has taught us through the church. Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood will live in me and I in him, and I will raise him up on the last day. That's Christ speaking, which means the Holy Eucharist is necessary. Even if the bishops decide that the people will receive in the hand standing, as in the United States, our congregation in Rome has said, yes, provided that those who want to receive kneeling, you leave them full freedom. And those, those who want to receive on the tongue, you leave them in peace and not in pieces. <laughs> Even if the bishops have chosen standing, hmm. those who want to kneel are free to kneel. Wow. And no one has the right to say to them, you are disobedient. If a person prefers to kneel when receiving Holy Communion, can he do so anywhere in the world? Yes. That is the answer. Those who want to kneel are free and are left in peace and not in pieces. If anybody distributing communion says, I will not give you holy communion because you are kneeling, that person saying it is wrong, no matter who he is. So we leave the people of God free. Although the general norm in this country is standing, if a person wants to kneel, you are free to do so. Mm -hmm. The faithful should receive Holy Communion kneeling. That's the traditional form in the Latin rite. That's the preferred form, you're saying? Yeah, that's the traditional mm -hmm. and preferred form, yes. Mm -hmm. With that. If you believe that Christ is our God and He is present, why don't you kneel? Why don't you crawl? Why not show? Show respect. In order to crush a person with a car, it is not necessary to declare, I hereby decide to crush you with this car. Once people ask me, if a person votes for abortion, can the person receive Holy Communion? My reply was, do you really need a cardinal from the Vatican to answer that? Get the children for First Communion and say to them, somebody votes for the killing of unborn babies and says, I voted for that, I will vote for that every time. And these babies are killed, not one or two, but in millions. And that person says, I am a practicing Catholic. Should that person receive communion next Sunday? The children for First Communion will answer you that at the drop of a hat. <laughs> you are a member of the Senate or the Congress. Personally, I am not in favor of shooting the whole lot of you. <laughs> but. But if somebody else wants to shoot all of you in the Senate or all of you in Congress, it's just pro-choice for that person. <laughs> but personally, personally, I'm not in favor. So those who kill unborn babies are breaking not the law of the church, but the law of God. You see, one act for a person to commit a mortal sin, it is not necessary for the person to make a formal declaration of rejection of God. 